Hi there, this is a 100% playthrough of Capybara on Ultra Violence difficulty. This is map number 11, where the rodents thrive. Hey there, good buddies, it's time for a bit more Capybara. It's been a minute, hasn't it? But I would like to continue working on it and slip it in here and then, so to speak. And um, yeah, because there's quite a few levels left and we have barely scratched the surface of how awesome all this stuff looks. So yeah, this is number 11, Where the Rodents Thrive by Frioko. Now, when we shoot this switch, obviously everyone's gonna wake up and these purple flappered walls will come down after a bit. There'll be some green armor and some health, but I really wanna focus on the Revenant. There'll be some pinkies coming in, but also so these two zombie men are absolute bastards. Like they, they are really got deadly aim and they do quite a bit of damage. Yep. Nice bit of pinky blockage going on here. Good stuff. So yeah, there's those zombie men doing their thing. Yikes, you guys. Get out of the way, Pinky, you pissant. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Nice. So yeah, deadliest monster in that fight. Bloody zombie men. Anyway, let's get two secrets right off the bat. There's one down there with a uh, couple O boxes of rockets, but this one here I want to grab first because I don't think we can actually come back up here. If we just sidle around, be very careful um, because of the elastic collision will toss you off so to speak okay and we'll just do a runny jump down to here all right now this fight's not too bad um yeah grab everything 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 i'll probably miss a few armor bonuses because they like to camouflage with the floor rocket launcher now once we hit this switch arch file up there arch file there huge amount of imps and pinkies and also hell knights so what i like to do and what i would recommend is this arch vial straight away, um, bunch of rockets to those guys, bunch of rockets to those guys, and in between, just try and take out the Hell Knights, because they are really quite annoying. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Nice. Bunch of rockets, bunch of rockets, bunch of rockets. One, two, and three for you. One, two. Okay, used a few too many there. Well, one, one too many. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, watch out for those pinkies. They're probably gonna catch me with a face rocket in a moment, as they like to do. Oh yeah, okay, I neglected these guys a little bit too much. And they've all come through. Okay. Goodbye. Not too bad. Just use shotgun for a bit. Right. Now this map is um, it's beautiful to look at, obviously, and it's uh, it's it's I don't want to say breezy, but it's um, it causes me less stress than the previous one that I played. That having been said, when we die, not if <laughs> I'm pretty sure there will be a death. Um, I don't think I'll be doing the rest of this map set single segment or trying to. I know the previous one I did a save um, because that last fight was just mind blowingly blur. But I think what I might do is what I've been doing with my uh, blind playthroughs is uh, when I die, um, I'll then probably take a little bit of time to clear my head and then I'll play through and connect the video up to where I died. So I guess essentially you could say it's a Frankenstein's monster of a single playthrough. It's just not a single playthrough, single playthrough, if you know what I mean. But um, I think that's probably a better way of me keeping my head clear. Whoa, watch out for that arch file. And whoa, dude, he is aggressive. Not getting too fussed up. Whoa. But also trying to keep things exciting and stuff and to not fall into the trap of being overly reliant on saves which I don't really want to do I'd like a bit of challenge and these maps have oodles oodles of challenge now we've got two secrets the last one is an arch vile jump that um, originally I was like Ugh! about and it could easily go wrong in this run but um, I think I've got it down pat now we'll get to that shortly but I'm not too afraid of it as I initially was. 
it's relatively reliable. That is to say, it's probably going to go wrong in this run. But up until now, since I worked out precisely what I need to do, it's worked 10 times out of 10. So hopefully it works this time. We'll see. Oh yeah, these rockets are actually oof, it's really quite difficult to pick up actually because you want to you bump up on the ledge, but you want to pick up the rockets. What a pain. Now, we'll go through there eventually. That is essentially the exit. Really love that texture. That red one, very fleshy. As soon as we move in here, a bunch of arachnotrons and a baron on this difficulty. I just suggest picking all the stuff up, hiding behind the baron, and then getting an infight going to then return to after a sec and ply some rockets. Okay, some fresh armor is always good. Did you get him? No, you didn't get him. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll just give them a moment. No rush. Let's look at all the pretty lights. Ooh. Ah. Okay, that's enough. Those guys seem busy. Oh, there's no one there. You've all bunched up on this side. You cheeky buggers. Nice. Okay, cool. So we need the purple and the red to go this way. So let us repel in this direction and get ourselves the red key. Revenant's down here. I like to... Hello, boys. Just, well... Mm. Ah, that's annoying. Okay. <laughs> Draw them up in this general direction. Mm. They like to... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Jesus. <laughs> That's alright, we got some health to spare. That's just annoying though. It was I knew exactly what I needed to do, but unfortunately the stairs gave me a bit too much velocity. And I was like, oh no, and then I had to, yeah, combat against it. There's always a revenant that doesn't wake up. I guess he just can't quite see around the pole. Or the the green growth. That's right. Our health's all good. I suggest taking out these Mancubi now. Because they will be a bit annoying later. Ooh, another chain gun. Just wait till he's finished firing. There's probably a few hit scanners, unless they've died. I oh, know. A few have died to infighting. Nice. Now from memory. Ooh yeah. The last fight's actually not the hardest. The hardest one is leading towards the purple key, I believe. And it's got a series of interconnected bridges. We'll get there in a bit. And it's a real pain in the ass. That's definitely going to be the place we die, if not maybe in here. But I think I've kind of worked out how to get this fight cooking relatively well. That being said, we'll probably die. But anyway, enough defeatist talk. Let's... Uh Oh, nice. Quadruple kill. Don't you like to see it? Just wake these guys up. Although, actually, I don't want them here because there's going to be an arch vial there. In a bit. And, you know, corpses and all that. And you. Ah, oh, yeah. Give you a taste of that. Um, yeah, so red key up there. Let's just pick up all the stuff. Can we hear the arch vial? Not yet. Okay. Sometimes I think like I can hear him going, Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Because he's going to pop up there. Now, this may seem strange. Oh, there he goes. I'm picking up this berserk now because I'm going to be backed into this corner. And it's, it's good for health, obviously. But when you're rocketing stuff and you accidentally pick up the berserk, huge, huge pain in the ass. I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to grab this stuff too. Now this is where we need to arch vial jump onto. There's going to be a mega armor in there, which is hugely helpful. Um, so hopefully I can demonstrate that in a moment. Hit this switch, revenant, revenant on each of these poles, a huge amount of demons and spectres. Obviously the spectres are going to be the worst in this situation because they're very hard to see, especially against green and gray, which is our floor, the green. And um, so I just want to sh shoot a huge amount of rockets once I've taken care of these revenants and then take out these mancubi here, leave the arch file because he's going to give us our boost and then we'll see how we go from there. Okay, good. Wait for a few missiles. Okay. You don't want to wait too long on shooting at the pinkies. 
Ouch. Yeah. I'm going to cop a few Revenant missiles. No, no word of a lie. Because I really want to clear out these nasty demons. Yeah, okay. <laughs> not, not really giving myself enough room to, um, to dodge. And it may seem like rocket overkill. Oh. Bloody Revenant. Yeah, watch out for those Mancubite too, hey. I'll have that. We might be right now. Hopefully a spectre does not appear in our face. And disgrace us terribly. But yes, I think just continuing what I was talking about before in regards to how I'm going to do the rest of these runs, because I really want to do them. I really want to explore these maps because they are beautiful and us scorchingly spicy and that's really fun really fun to explore and i do want to do them in a practiced sense being able to inform what's going to happen and how to get the secrets etc but um yeah i think breaking them up in uh just to continue on after i die is probably better for my for how my brain works oops i understand if that's not everyone's cup of tea and i'm sorry but i think that might just work well for me. Okay, those guys are gone. I need more health before I can contemplate this boost because of those damn revenant missiles. Okay, no health there. Let's grab this. Let's grab this. Now, this guy's actually quite hard to goad. There's an arch file behind these pillars now, which will come down. But yeah. It can also fake you out a bit because you're not entirely sure if that guy's flaming just for a split second. So I think standing on this ledge here, the green one, should give us... Oh, that hurt. <laughs> we did it though. That's cool. Look at that. A little frozen face. Lovely. Nice. I just want to have a look at these visuals for a sec. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, actually, we'll take care of this guy. And just take our time, yeah? There we go. Okay. Um, I really want the Archvile to be at the front, but of course he's not. Come here. Come here, you pillock. Oh, he almost came to the front. Damn it. Okay, he's in fighting. I've only got seven rockets, though. Or else I'd flip open the gate while he's busy and just rocket spam like crazy. Hmm. No, I think I want to take care of him first. Watch out for those Hell Knights too. Oops. And that guy. Because their projectiles can fit through here. Ah. Uh, Archvile, come here. Oh, you're a pain. Ah. You're really lucky if you do get him to come to the front. Mind you, I've got a crap ton of shells, but he's just going to resurrect everyone. Can I get him to come here? It's good if you can get him to come in. And then Hell Knight said he's back. Block him. <sighs> we might just have to risk it, gang. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Bloody bugger. He's going to resurrect everything. Ah. Uh. Okay, folks. Just did the archvile jump. Went relatively well. Um, we'll just take out this loser. Ow. Um, all right. I've got a few more rockets than I previously did. Because I super shotgunned some hell knights. Yes. Stay in there. Get him, lads. We're supposed to be on the same side, Hell Knight. What are you doing, you bastard? Now you're in the way. Damn it. I thought I was onto something there, lads. Lads and lasses. Dang it. Come here. No. Yes. No. <laughs> he is a nimble beast. Come around this side. Up. Uh, no. Hell Knight. Get out of the bloody way. There we go. Jeez, man. Uh, it's not a hard fight at all. It's just a bit awkward. 
obviously if you've got enough rockets, you could easily just like super shotgun all of these guys as much as you possibly can. And then just flip open the gate and just spew a whole bunch of rockets. Really? Now, I'm looking relatively fresh, so I don't want to pick up this Megasphere just yet, actually. So this fight, <clears throat> this fight can go one of two ways. I've left here before with about 140, 150% health and armor from this Megasphere. I've left here with like about 15 and then died as soon as I went to the next fight. So I want to preserve as much of it as I can, but chances are... I'm not going to. Uh, I had a huge fluke once where I was- I went into the next fight, which also has a mega sphere on this difficulty, and I didn't need to pick it up, and that actually worked really quite well for me. So, we'll see. There's gonna be quite a number of tyrants and a huge amount of revenants. I wanna- oh, I kinda wanna stagger- yikes. I shouldn't have shot that tyrant, damn it. And they're gonna be in the way of the Megasphere, aren't they? Oh dear. This is silly. This was quite silly. Give them the Megasphere- oh, and I was hurt instantly. Yikes, 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 yikes! Uh, you're occupied, I'm gonna get rid of you. Go away. I hope I don't have too many deaths, because that's a lot of replaying. But really, the main reason why I'm gonna be using this format of, um, when I die, just replaying through again, but cutting to it instead of just, you know, literally doing the entire thing is I don't have to give the instruction or strategy tips every single time, because that is so exhausting. I do not know, I do not know how Decino and Vatan and people like that do it. Like, oh, it just starts to drive me insane repeating the same thing over and over again. I've tried before having a bit of uh, variety in what I'm saying, but oh man, nah, no way. It's not for me, so I'll try this instead. Hopefully it'll keep it nice and fresh for me, and hopefully for the viewers as well, those who care for this type of thing. Now, chances are we're gonna die again in the next uh, fight. I'm really liking the look of our health and armor here. Cool, this thing takes quite a while to come up. Um, and I'm gonna try and use a strategy I saw Brain Freeze use, although his strategy was of course on the higher difficulty. Um, which actually would have worked a lot better for this fight because that has cyber demons in it. This actually has barons in replacement. I don't want to pick you up. But um, yeah, so there's going to be revenants, imps, uh, barons, mancubus over in the distance and then around the corner, more imps, another baron. Then we have to hit three switches and there's going to be a huge amount of revenants here and archvile there because that'll be the switch for us to escape this fight completely. So I'll do this first bit and then hopefully explain what I plan on doing. And if you fall off, you're going into some goop that's going to cause a huge amount of damage. What the hell was that? Oh, that sucks. Oh man, that's BS. Ah, that's so annoying. Go away, shotgunner. And I'm taking all this damage too. No, no, no. I don't want that. Ugh. Goof. I mean, that could have been worse, but I actually wanted to save the Megasphere for now. For the second stage of the fight. Oofy. Ow, why are those imps doing so much da damage to me? Yeah, if you fall off, you're falling into a pit that does quite a bit of damage. And for the use of the strategy in this next part, I'm actually going to be falling down there. Hmm, I wonder if my health is going to hold out. <gasps> Possibly not. But at least we will be going to a non-secret secret that gives us another Megasphere. 
There we go. How are we doing? Yes, pick up these. All right, three switches. This one. And this one. And the one over there that was with the Baron and the Mega Armor. I was going to say Mega Sphere. Um, there will be a supercharge up there in a bit. I'm not entirely sure when it comes in. What worries me more than the revenants really is with this strategy, I'm going to be jumping in here and circumnavigating the entire island structure, um, picking up a megasphere halfway along the way and then coming back around the other side to a teleporter, which is going to take me back to where we were before at the start. But that's going to be right next to an arch file and there's no cover. So I have to do that and then hopefully rely on the arch file being stunned. I don't know. It's very risky. I'll see how it goes. If not, when I die, I'll come back and maybe try a different strategy. We shall see. So we hit this switch. There's a brief pause of not much happening and then revenants. So I think I want to do that and then pump rockets as much as I can. So we got heaps. Let's just do it. I don't know if that's really working for me. Oh, damn. That has just hurt me so much. I can't do this strategy now. Crap. Oh, dear. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, at least I can hopefully illustrate it um, the next time. Come on. Oh, that was a close thing. Oh, well, I'm glad I made it here anyway, even though we're probably just about to die, but yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. Now back around the other side. Mm, I wish there was a teleporter that took you somewhere different, but I'm pretty sure there's not. Okay. Pat the capybara for good luck. Let's go. This is probably a terrible idea. I wish I had a radiation suit. There's the arch file up there. Come on. Come on. Zap. Shit. No. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll try it again in a moment. Okie dokie. Let us continue. That, that worked out pretty dang well, actually. 176%. Nice. Let's not lose it all too quickly. I want to try rockets on the revenants this time. That shotgun is annoying. Ah, uh, oh, don't fall off. Whoa, those imps. Jeez, guys, flippin' heck. Oh, I just want to grab this. <laughs> Making me miss. You great big puddin'. All right. Uh, I think that mank has to go. Ah, more imps. I used to be a friend of imps, but no longer. Dude. Come on. Okay. I think that strategy last time was relatively sound. Yeah. Pop. Um, hmm. Although I just wish there was a way of just not necessarily needing to do it. Although that Megasphere is jolly nice. I just wish there was another teleporter that took you somewhere else. Huh. But I don't think there is. So I might repeat that. But I'll try and get some more rockets in on the revenants first, I think. Yeah. All right, let's grab the Megasphere. Yum. All right. Uh, did I hit both switches? I wasn't even paying attention. Yes. Yeah? No. I would have been waiting there for ages like a complete tit. Yikes. Okay. Gimme, 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 gimme. Swapping weapon. Ah. Stand still, you bastard. Jesus. I'm just going to take a hit. 
Well, that worked. I hope no one got pushed off, though. Ugh. I think these guys are such professionals, though, they would have monster-blocking stuff in place. <laughs> that worked out a lot better. I could obviously, obviously go for that uh, capybara non-secret secret, but um, without a radiation suit, it's not really worth it. But I suppose we may as well. Whilst we're here, let's swap away from the rocket launcher. Actually, I'll top up with that. And let's... <laughs> yeah, alright. Mm. Let's try that again. I can't believe I made it the other time with only, what was it, 100 health? It was a close thing, though. <laughs> oh, mama. Oh, mama. Those arch files have got filthy, dirty minds. Here we are again, guys. See you later. Okay, it's a much nicer trip this time since we don't have an arch vial to get up in our face. Uh, a bit of a waste, but whatever. Okay. Blup, 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 blup. Blup, blup, blup. Hey. Now, from memory, because I've spent so long tackling this bloody fight. Oh, there's you. Ah, there it is. I was wondering how we got that. Nice. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. I wasn't paying attention. All right, because I've spent so long tackling this fight. I'm trying to remember what happens next. Now, there was the Mancubi here, but we killed them. Oh, we get a Mega Sphere anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll know it's here. Oh, is it in the way? I think there was Hell Knights, yeah. Whoa, bounced off the wall like a bugger. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got floaters. A lot of floaters. Let's just circulate, circulate. Was there a pain elemental? There is. And another one. DJ Khalid of Doom. And another one. Oh, I don't know why. It just feels like a huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders to have done that fight. I've been practicing it for ages. Pretty miffed I didn't do it single segment, but ah. As other people, I've heard them say, not really interested in hugely impressing people just here to have a good time I'd rather people were impressed with my delicious banter and funny jokes nah I just like having a good time with Doom is all I just don't want to brick it too much alright that went really nicely that was a surprisingly really easy fight and I didn't have the Megasphere I guess I'll grab it now uh, no, there wasn't anything to press on that side. Let's fill up on our shells. Purple key. Okay. Uh, is there an ambush? There is. Oh well, ambush. There's a bit of a bit of a bit of argy bargy. Feel free to die at any point, guys. Ooh. Almost a double kill. Within a second of one another. Split second. Cool. Let's fill up again. Waste not. Want not. Cool. Uh, right. I think the kills are looking right from memory. And we got these... Up we go. Final confrontation. Let's just take care of these guys because they're annoying. I'm trying to remember if there was a specific reason they're here. Mm, were you helpful in any way? I don't think so. Where'd you come here? <sighs> go away. Okay. Um, from memory, 
Uh, I think that was a full, full flavor cyber demon. Um, huge amount of goatsies. Um, I recall. Let's fill up. Don't need the Megasphere yet, which is great. We get a BFG. Can't remember exactly what the order of operations are. Oh, don't make me grab that. Okay. Oh, it's here. Yikes. That was a waste. But that's okay. I'm trying to remember if this was timed or not. I can't remember. And yeah, that guy's full flavor. So let's... Ow. Uh, are we timed? There's another switch. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, and we got some other cybers too. Let's grab this. And summarily lose it. Get out of the way. Let's go, gang. Keep on the move. Keep on the move. Da -da 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 -da. Nah, I'm not going to kill you by yourself, brother. Ow. Whoop. Those guys are moving, and they're moving, and they're moving. Well, is that all we have left? Oh, blokes. That's all right. Dodged away from the microphone there. <laughs> Whoop. I'm not sure if that guy's ordinary or not. No. Nah. Most definitely is not. Can hear some Archie's going, oh mama, oh mama. Huge amount of cells, beautiful. Power fantasy, gorgeous, delicious. Megasphere one, we picked up the other one, that's cool. Um, great, we've got two monsters left. And I think it's just a pair of Archie's. It is. Nice, we've done it gang. It wasn't single seg, but that's okay. I think I enjoyed this even more because there wasn't so much pressure. There was still pressure, but not to such a degree that it was just, uh, you know? Oh yeah, there's some platforming. It's not over yet, gang. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> okay, nice. There was a couple of other steps there as well. I'm not entirely sure where they go. I just wanna... No! <laughs> no! You bloody bugger. Just rewinding. I just wanted to see... What was this for? Oh my god. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll just do a quick save. The map is finished. I just want to find out what these are for. Oh my god. I'm traveling too fast. I'm all excited now. I'm too shaky. Oh Jesus Christ. Stop. Is this even going to be worth it? <laughs> God, this is some Italo Doom platforming. Oh, is that all it did? Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, I guess in case you missed the secrets at the start. Anyway. God, what a kerfuffle. Where the rodents thrive, map 11, done and dusted and dead. That was really good fun, actually. I Yeah, I like that new format. There's not too much faffing about. And um, I had an awesome time. I suggest you try that map yourself. Try it on Nefarious, why don't you? Get up with the Brain Freeze League, not this scrub gang. Mm, mm. Oh, I need a drink of water after all that. Yeah, that was very interesting because I remember and I was like, did I remember correctly or incorrectly? I remember the last fight being really easy and it is as I demonstrated. Um, it could have gone wrong, obviously, but no, it didn't. Um, but definitely that bridge area is the hardest bit because then the bit after that with the cacos and stuff, easy, just circle. Um, there's a little ambush after that. But even like the bit before the bridge with all the revenants and the tyrants and that, 
it's not really anything to worry about. You just need to tease them into an infight as best you can and you're done. So definitely that damn bridge fight. <sighs> anyway. It was, it was great. I really enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you very soon in map 12. I promise I won't leave it as long this time. I'll try and do one once a week if possible, just to cut up um, Super Mayhem 17 a bit, I think. I think that'd be fun. All right. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. But let's not forget about the intermission text. <clears throat> Please note that when you hit the space bar, you agree to Capybara's terms and services, which state that I cannot be held legally responsible for any emotional damages incurred by the maps after map 11. Capybara team, supposedly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, that's not a great outlook for us, but we shall persevere. Bring it on, I say. Eduardo and friends.